In this problem, we have to evaluate the expressions given the values of x and y. So it turns out we actually don't even need the values of x and y in this problem. Uh, this problem can be done without using x, y, or a and b. So here's how. So whenever you have uh, the absolute value of x minus y, intuitively that's the distance between x and y. Well, the distance between x and y is the same thing as the distance between y and x. So this is really the absolute value of y minus x. So you can do that. You can just switch these. So in this first example here, uh, what we can do is we can take the absolute value of the top and then take the absolute value of the bottom. That's a property of absolute values. Whenever you have the absolute value of a fraction, you just take the absolute value of each piece. And then we can switch the bottom piece. So we have the absolute value of x minus y over, and then it becomes the absolute value of x minus y. And x here is not equal to y because x is negative 6 and y is 13. So there's no issue here. We're not dividing by 0. These cancel, and you get 1. We could have also switched the top piece to y minus x, and it would have worked. And another way to do it would be to actually plug in the numbers. But I think that this is a more like elegant way to do it, and it's also a faster way. We can do the same thing here. We can take the absolute value of the top piece, 2a minus 3b, and the absolute value of the bottom piece, absolute value of 3b minus 2a. And uh, this time, let's switch the top piece. Just to be different, we'll make it 3b minus 2a. Right, we can do that. You can just switch them. And this is the absolute value of 3b minus 2a. These cancel, and so you get 1. So in both cases, uh, the answer is 1. Just by using this property, whenever you have something in an absolute value like this, you can switch it. And again, intuitively, the absolute value of x minus y is the distance between x and y. The absolute value of y minus x is the distance between y and x. But the distance between x and y should be the same as the distance between y and x. Just like the distance between 5 and 6 is the same thing as the distance between 6 and 5. So, same thing. I hope this video has been helpful.